Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about um, elderly uh, relationships. Um, there seems to be a misconception about these kind of things, so I thought I'd straighten out some things uh, from my point of view as a PSW. Now I kind of touched on this in my last video for male personal support workers a little bit because I tend to go off topic every now and then. Um, so I thought I'd do a video about it because um, I thought it would be quite interesting for some people to learn this. Um, and I've seen this over the years and uh, what people, um, and a lot of people misunderstand this, especially people who don't work in the industry or um, who think that, you know, when we lose our wives or husbands or significant others, you know, that partner you've been with all your life and they pass away, um, and uh, some people think when you're elderly that you know you're alone for the rest of your life, even if you go into long-term care or retirement home. And I like to, you know, burst everyone's bubble who's thinking this um, that that's not actually true. You know, when you're in these environments, you will develop new friendships, you will develop new relationships, and sometimes in rare cases, new marriages will come up as well, or long-term relationships at the mo very most. Um, and you know, people. Believe it or not, elderly people do still remain sexually active if they can do it and uh, they still feel the urge for it. So, sorry to burst a few bubbles out there, but you know, these things do happen. And it's completely normal because, you know, at that point in your life, that's probably when you need the most companionship out of all. You know, you've lost someone, you know, you could have had a divorce earlier on. Um, a lot of people in this generation that I see who are elderly now probably have lost their loved ones who they've been with all their lives and that's quite normal for that generation. Um, but you know, it's normal just like in any life, uh, livelihood too, you know, you gravitate towards people that you feel comfortable with and if a relationship sparks up and you have common interests, hey, at any age it still happens. So um, don't think that elderly people are alone all their lives or not. There are very few people who choose to be like that if they really do feel like that. And again, we're all human and, you know, we do need some type of companionship, you know. Now, you know, like the families might not visit these people a lot. So, you know, who else are you going to talk to in those kind of environments? You're going to gravitate towards people around your own age group and with common interests in these places. Now, um, one person can have multiple relationships, believe it or not, or they'll have a single relationship. And it's just the way it is in life, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I've seen a little bit of everything in my years. And even though we're taught this in our textbooks when we first become PSWs, and I know nurses get taught this as well, it does still happen. Um, and, you know, we have to be respectful of these people's relationships, their values their things, their items, clothing, everything. And, you know, that's what we're taught. And on any other uh, lewd conduct, if you know what I mean. But, um, you know, when we, uh, when we see these relationships happening, we have to be respectful of them and we have to let them take their course. Now, the time and place when we have to put our, uh, you know, our guards up when these kind of things happen, if the people or individual is not in the right state of mind, now, sometimes these people might have dementia or Alzheimer's and they gravitate towards each other. And, you know, in those cases, we have to watch out for any physical abuse, um, any, um, you know, other really weird things. And especially if one person still is married and they have someone on the outside um, and they might not realize that we also have to make sure that we respect the family's wishes to make sure that we separate these individuals because if they're not in the right state of mind, that's when we have to really do intervene. Um, in those situations, and I've seen this once, uh, you know, it's hard to separate the people. Um, but uh, I'll give you an example. I was in a retirement home once and I saw two people uh, who were not in the right state of mind having a relationship. And the one individual had a spouse outside. And um, the reason that they were in there was because they're waiting for long term care and they just couldn't handle them at home. I think same happened with the other person as well and eventually the one person went off to long-term care and the other person was uh, still there at the retirement home until they left for long-term care months later. Um, the situation that ha happened one time I seen in the dining room of this particular situation was the spouse came in and had some uh, I guess something in a bag for them and saw them holding hands at the same table and threw it at them and left because they just couldn't take it. Um, I'm pretty sure that things picked up to speed up the 
uh, you know, the process of getting them both into long-term care. But uh, the problem is these things happen and these are the types of incidents we have to be very careful of in our lives because it's, uh, it's things like this we have to watch out for because we have to protect people's best interests. It isn't okay if they are in the right state of mind because we have to let things proceed naturally. Now, if families have a problem with uh, their loved ones having relationships later on in life, um, they really need to realize that, you know, um, your parents or your loved ones, you know, need to be respected and they need to be allowed to have the same types of relationships that we all have. And, you know, it makes an interesting story and it keeps them happy and uh, it makes them um, feel better about themselves. And when these types of relationships happen positively in these kind of environments, it also, believe it or not, keeps them mobile. It keeps their minds thinking well. It keeps them active and it keeps them very happy. And that's what's very important for our loved ones and the elderly. And, you know, like we should allow these kind of things to happen in those cases, like I'm saying. Um, you know, because like, when I see these types of relationships, it kind of like staves off all the stuff that brings down you when you're at that age, you know, you lose your mobility, you lose your mind and, you know, it keeps you going, you know, it motivates you to do something and, you know, a positive, healthy relationship is always good for both mind and body. So there you go. Um, you know, like, uh, I've seen a little bit of everything in the homes and, uh, I've seen like, uh, I've known people who've actually been married believe it or not as well I had a client of mine and uh, he was 85 at the time he's gone into long-term care recently and um, he says oh this is my wife I says well how long have you been married for we've only been married for two years I says oh really he says oh yeah it's my second marriage Justin I've uh, got married a couple years ago because when I came into this retirement home so and so and I met and uh, we hit it off and he her husband passed away years ago my wife passed away years ago and you know like it was a good fit so why not and there's one thing my client always said to me that I'll never forget. You're never too old to fall in love. You're never too old to get married, he said. And he says, if you still feel the need to do that and, you know, like you're missing something in your life, by all means, go for it. He says, it doesn't matter in any age. Whatever they do in their spare time is none of my business. But I'm very, I was very happy for him and her. And you want to know something when they were living together in a retirement home I was visiting and you know they seemed to bounce off each other really well and it was an excellent relationship so um, I always will take my clients advice saying that you're never too old to fall in love and you're never too old to get married so either or or whatever you choose is up to you but uh, going back to what I was saying you know you have to let these types of relationships happen in a positive way and like I said, the only time you interfere is if they're not in the right state of mind. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe if they're doing something out in the open, maybe it's a good idea to say something. But I'm pretty sure a lot of people at that type of, at, at that age group, you know, know better. Um, because, you know, um, sometimes they can act like little kids. But at the same time, you know, you have to just be careful and be mindful. But anyways, folks, um, I thought I'd reassure some people with some of the types of relationships um, and, uh, you know, hey, like I said, we're only human. And, you know, if you're in a place like that, you know, you're going to hook up. You're going to have a relationship. You might have a marriage. You never know what 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 time might bring. And, uh, you know, what happens and stuff. We're all human. We all have needs. So, anyways, if you encounter every, uh, one of your parents who is single and, you know, they're in a retirement environment and they come up to you saying, hey, I got a new girlfriend, you know, I would be very open and very mindful. Um, it might come as a shock, but uh, you should be very happy for your loved one because, you know, they have someone who will keep their company and who they probably have gravitated towards who they feel comfortable with. And uh, you should always be really open-minded and keep uh, good spirits and um, just let the relationship happen. You know, just like your parents let your relationship happen when you were younger is the best example I can give for you. Anyways, folks, take it easy. Everyone have a good one. And remember, like I said, elderly people will always have relationships just like young people. It's the way of life, and we're all human. Remember that. Take care. Bye for now.